Welcome. Thank you for joining Homeschool by Desiree. Today we are learning the parts of speech. There will be five segments. Nouns, adjectives and articles, verbs, conjunctions and interjections, and prepositions. Today's focus is nouns. It is important to learn the parts of speech because it teaches us how the words relate to each other. There are eight parts of speech. Nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, adverbs, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections. Nouns. Name a person, place, thing, or idea. It functions as the name of some specific thing or set of things. Here in our examples, we have lady, road, trees, love, dream, pencil, and bob. Nouns can be broken down into common or proper nouns. A common noun is a general or basic name. A proper noun is a specific name. Common nouns are not capitalized unless at the beginning of a sentence. Proper nouns are always capitalized no matter where they are in a sentence. Nouns can also be singular or plural. Singular nouns means that you are only talking about one person, place, thing, or idea. A plural noun means that you are talking about many or a lot of a person, place, thing, or idea. Pronouns. They take the place of a noun, such as he, it, they, me. These are pronouns. Yeah! Here are two sentences for examples. Our first sentence. Jake runs at the lake. Jake is our noun. It is also a proper noun. Our second sentence, he loves to play in the water. He is our pronoun, which took the place of Jake. There are three types of pronouns. Nominative, objective, and possessive. They each play their part in a sentence. You can have more than one noun in a sentence. Nominative pronouns, as what are listed here, are the subject of the sentence. They usually perform the action in the sentence, such as our example. He is our pronoun, and loves is the action. Objective pronouns act as the objects in the sentence. In this example, we have, he liked to play in it. We replaced lake with it. It is our pronoun.
Possessive pronouns are words that demonstrate ownership. Take a look at the picture. Your bear says the bear belongs to you. And her bear says the bear belongs to the other girl. Let's review. We have learned that nouns are a person, place, thing, or idea. They can be singular or plural. They can be common or proper. Nouns include pronouns, which actually take the place of nouns. Pronouns are nominative, which are the subject, objective, which is the object, and possessive, which demonstrates ownership. Thank you for joining Homeschool with Desiree. Like, share, subscribe. I hope you enjoyed learning about nouns, and I hope you'll join me for the other four segments. <laughs>